Well, hello, my fellow Titans. It's your favorite radioactive gaming dinosaur, the Evolve Godzilla, bringing you Chapter 3, Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now, for this, this series, you all will be seeing me showcasing my custom-made parks based off of the movies and the Camp Cretaceous series. Along with me doing a showcase of all the DLCs and dinosaur bundles. For example, the... Uh... Let's see. The Feathered Species Pack. The Marine Species Pack. The Early Cretaceous Pack. The Camp Cretaceous Pack. And the Cretaceous Predator Pack. All of those will be on this channel. And as y'all can see, we are starting this channel off with Jurassic Park. And so, let's get on with the tour. Well, hello! It's wonderful that you all made it here safe and sound. I really do hope it was a safe and enjoyable trip all the way from Costa Rica to beautiful Isla Nublar. I am your host, the Evolve Godzilla. Or just Godzilla or Goji, whatever you all want to call me. <laughs> but I am not only your host, but I'm also your tour guide. And it's my job to, to take you all on this amazing journey around this park around this park that's right up your alley and it's 65 million years in the making and it's the most advanced amusement park in the entire world and we're using all the latest technologies and I'm not just talking about rides oh no every theme park has rides but we have made living biological attractions that are so astounding that they'll capture the imagination of the entire planet Hang on tight, it's going to get wet. <clears throat> and we go down this way through this prehistoric looking jungle. And there y'all have it. We have dinosaurs. My dear Titan Army, welcome to Jurassic Park. And how do we do this, you may ask? Well, I'll show you. Or more like, I'll tell you. So, okay, <laughs> 150 million years ago, there are mosquitoes, just like today, and just like the ones we have today, they fed on the blood of animals, including dinosaurs. And sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on a branch of a tree and get stuck in tree sap. And after a long time, millions of years to be precise, the tree sap will get hard and become fossilized, just like a dinosaur bone, preserving the very mosquito inside. And this fossilized tree sap, called amber, we can see millions of years with the mosquito inside. Until Jurassic Park scientists came along using a very careful technique they extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and virtual reality displays shows our genesis the gaps in the DNA sequence and we use a complete DNA of a frog to fill in the holes to complete the code and now we can create 
our own dinosaurs. So as you all can see here, this is where all of you wonderful guests could eat the most delicious food made by so many amazing chefs around the world, mostly from Costa Rica. You all can sit here and watch the tour vehicles drive down into the park. And you all can take a look at our decorations like our amber pedestal. A statue of our mascot, Mr. DNA. Take a look at our rock decor, our fountains, our T-Rex and Alamosaurus skeleton. Our Spinosaurus skull. And our most prized possession, our Jurassic Park rock. And now we shall go this way. And here at the visitor center. All part of John Hammond's dream of making a theme park filled with dinosaurs. Now there is one place that I'm going to show you all that is restricted for others. And for one specific reason. And as y'all can see, there's our uh, emergency bunker. Where our staff would go and hide. And seek shelter in case of any... Uh, disasters. This is our Velociraptor enclosure. We used to hold these... We used to hold these three in that paddock over there. But they kept breaking out. Kim, Randy, and their Alpha, which we nicknamed the Big One, because of her sheer size. We bred eight in here, but when she came, she took over the Pride and killed all of them but two of them. And so we made this enclosure their home. And the worst thing is our emergency bunker is in the back. And sometimes we would have to trank these massive predators to get to that emergency bunker. But yeah. Just wanted to give y'all a quick warning before you all decide to go in there. But now, <clears throat> back to the tour. So here's our laboratory, where our scientists extract the DNA from many chunks of amber and fossils we find throughout the world. And now, for the park tour. And before we go on the tour, I would like to note, no flash photography on this tour because Dinosaurs, like most animals, they don't like... They don't like camera flashes. So, just a quick heads up before we continue. Off. And also, please keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. And unfortunately, we do not have Richard Kiley to be our uh, tour voice. But, that's why I'm here, to be your tour guide. And I can assure you all, you all will enjoy my company. And there we, there we go, we're leaving the visitor center. And if you all have some loved ones, be sure to wave bye. For the time being, for the time being. <clears throat> Sorry, you all. I haven't had my morning coffee today. <laughs> so my voice might be a little scratchy at times, but just bear with me. And during this tour, you all can take pictures. 
and uh, we all, every vehicle has night vision goggles underneath the seats. So, more than likely, the, the one, your loved one's in the back, or your friends in the back will have to grab them for you. And during most of your tour, the appropriate information will automatically be selected and on display for you. Simply touch the area of the screen and choose the appropriate icon. And without further ado, let's get started with the tour. Everyone, Welcome to Jurassic Park. And unfortunately, we do not have King Kong that Ian Malcolm once choked about. <laughs> I really like that man. And don't worry, everyone. These electrified fences will keep the dinosaurs s safely away from you all. So, n you all have nothing to worry about. So just relax and enjoy the ride. And during construction, some goats got in here. So, uh, don't mind them. <laughs> if you see any goats roaming around. And like I said, we were unfortunately not able to get Richard Kylie to be our voice guy. So, I will gladly introduce y'all to the dinosaurs. <clears throat> and here we are at our first dinosaur. If you all would look to the right, y'all will see a herd of the first dinosaurs on our tour called Dilophosaurus. One of the earliest carnivores, we now know Dilophosaurus is actually poisonous, spitting its venom at its prey, causing blindness and eventually paralysis, allowing the carnivore to eat at its leisure. This makes Dilophosaurus a beautiful but deadly addition to Jurassic Park. And you all can see them perfectly fine as some of them are just standing around drinking water roaming around their enclosure and resting And if y'all would continue to look to the right, you all will see a group of our first herbivores on the tour, called Triceratops. One of the last Ceratopsians of the Cretaceous period. These dinosaurs browse like a rhino and not graze like a cow. And they are just as aggressive as any rhino. As long as you stay clear of their territory, they will be just as docile as any other herbivore. As it's just an act of protection and aggression. And they're not just doing it to kill you guys. Or anyone for that matter. <laughs> it's just an act of protecting their young. <clears throat> and 
And by the way, y'all, I finally found out how to, uh... Turn that, uh... That, uh, voice off that was... Being the original tour guide. The one that kind of replaced Richard Kiley for Evolution 2. But... I'm pretty sure y'all like it when I do the tour. Or when I do the talking. Now, after this next dinosaur, you guys, uh, y'all can take a break from looking right for a while. <laughs> because even though I'm a tour guide, I do want to care about the welfare of my guests. Now, if y'all would look to the right one last time, you all will see one of the most famous dinosaurs in history called Tyrannosaurus Rex. The king of the dinosaurs, or in this case, the queen of the dinosaurs. Although our scientists were able to clone our very own Tyrannosaurus, our clone unfortunately has poor vision due to the DNA splicing in order to create the Rex, so if you don't move, she won't be able to see you. But hopefully you all won't have to stay still as long as she stays in her uh, enclosure. But like I said, the dinosaurs will stay in their enclosures for the rest of their lives, so you all have nothing to worry about. Now y'all can rest your necks from looking to the right all the time. <laughs> for a while. And also you guys, uh... <clears throat> I have dinosaurs that were in the park and in the movie, but were not on screen. Like, Baryonyx, Metriacanthosaurus, Proceratosaurus, and, uh, Herrerasaurus. And you all will be seeing them here shortly. And I hope you all are enjoying this tour so far. If you are, then drop a like and a comment down below and let me know what you all think of it. And now, if y'all would look to the left, y'all will see our very own fish eater called Baryonyx. A fish eating dinosaur from... England from the early Cretaceous, we now know that Baryonyx uses its hook claw on both of its hands to snatch slippery fish out of water, along with those ferocious looking straight teeth holding the fish before it could escape into the water, as well as while it struggles. And uh, we would like to not think how a baryonyx could kill a human with those teeth. <laughs> and there's some Gallimimus, which we will get to those guys here shortly.
But yeah, like I said, if y'all are enjoying the tour so far, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what y'all think. Excuse me. Now, if y'all would look to the left again, you all will see a pair of our other ink British dinosaurs on the tour called Metriacanthosaurus. Or no, I'm mistaking. Our only Metriacanthosaurus. We only have one. I forgot. <laughs> But this dinosaur's name means modernly spined lizard because of the spines on its back and it's a ferocious and fast moving dinosaur. So be clear to stay in your car or in your vehicle in case it ever breaks out. And now we are going inside the enclosures this time and have no fear these are not predatory theropods. These theropod dinosaurs actually prefer plants than humans. If y'all would look all over the place, y'all will see a flock of Gallimimus. Young and adults. One of the fast moving dinosaurs. These are living examples of dinosaurs being closely related to birds and reptiles because Gallimimus literally means chicken mimic and I don't think I need to explain why and there's one of the juveniles right there the juveniles will have white speckling all over their bodies wherein the adults won't have those markings. They really are primal magnificence. And also, when you look at these Gallimimus and other Ornithomimids, it'll look like y'all are looking at a naked ostrich. Not one of my best pictures, not one of my good pictures, but you'll have to do for now. We are now crossing this land bridge. As we continue the tour. <clears throat> and this will be the very last time y'all will have to look left. And then we're back to right.
Huh, they ran off. Because of the new pack hunting behavior that was released in one of the newer updates. I'll explain that later. But anyway, if y'all would look to the left, y'all will see one of the most primitive and earliest dinosaurs of all time called Herrerasaurus. Like I said, a more primitive dinosaur. These carnivores act out on instinct and their instinct is to survive, hunt, and reproduce. But luckily, here in Jurassic Park, we, we do not allow breeding here in <laughs> and I'm glad you all decided to join me, the Evolve Godzilla, for uh, this tour around Jurassic Park. And we are coming up on our final. Well, not our final, but our final carnivore in this part of the park. Now, if y'all would look to the right once again, you all will see one of the earliest cousins or ancestors of the Tyrannosaurus Rex called Proceratosaurus. A Tyrannosaur from the Jurassic, this is one of the smallest Tyrannosaurs ever discovered. And even though it may not look like a Tyrannosaur, it has some distinct features that resembles that of a Tyrannosaur. Like the way that the skull is formed or, or shaped. And the way that its central, its sensing organs and brain are shaped. Just like a Tyrannosaur. So you all are looking at the granddaddy of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And we are so, so honored to have the grandfather of the famous dinosaur of all time in our park. And here we are back at the beginning and as y'all look all everywhere again, y'all will see a trio of Brachiosaurus and a herd of Paraceralophus. Both dinosaurs very vocal. And we know that they are social animals because of the resonating chambers found in their skulls. And Brachiosaurus gets their name because of being the first sauropod that had larger forelimbs than any other sauropod. And Paraceralophus are famous because of the bizarre looking head crest that is definitely used for vocalization. And these were the guest favorites, besides the other mo more famous dinosaurs in the park. Like Rexy, as we, which is what we nicknamed our T-Rex.
And... Oh, there's another Parasaurolophus right there. I would like to thank you all for joining me on this journey throughout this part of the park. But the tour is not yet over. As we have one more dinosaur that we are going to take a look at. And that is the Velociraptor. Hold on tight, everyone. This is very steep here. And here we are back at the guest lounge. And you all can see our banner when dinosaurs rule the earth. And since we're here, uh, be sure to check out my friend, the Gaming Fenrir 2 XP. He does some amazing content too, and he has a God of War series that's coming out soon. And right after this series, you guys, it will be Red Dead Redemption 2, both of the Spider-Man games, except the uh, Spider-Man 2 that just came out, mainly because I don't have a PS5. And then God of War and God of War Ragnarok. And in between series, there will be Fortnite and Red Dead Online videos. Now, if y'all would look to the left, y'all will see one of the most dangerous pack hunting dinosaurs in the park, the Velociraptors.
And you might think, if you stay still, you think that their vision will be based on movement like the T-Rex. But no, not Velociraptor. You stare at them, and they'll just stare right back. And that's where the attack comes. But not from the front, from the side. And the other two raptors, you won't even know they were there. Because Velociraptors are pack hunters. They use coordinated attack patterns. And they will strike you from all sides. And they will slash at you with 6 inch retractable claws like a razor on the inner toes. Now you think they might go for the jugular like a lion. Oh no. They'll slash at you on the chest, in the crotch, or maybe across the belly, spilling your intestines. But the point is, you are alive when they start to eat you. So it's... It's... Always... It's always a... A thing to show them a little respect. It's always good to know to show them a little respect. And keep your distance away from them, obviously. <laughs> and here we are, coming to an end of the Jurassic Park tour. Once we get in the building, I will show you all the rest of the park. But anyway, <clears throat> thank you all for choosing Jurassic Park, and thank you all for letting me be your tour guide. And I hope to see you all back here at Jurassic Park soon. And I hope it's you guys. <laughs> but anyway, guys. This is how I have Jurassic Park. Kind of like the brochure. And, uh... Here we have the T-Rex, or Rexy, in her 1993 look. The, let's see, Ametria Cantosaurus. He's hiding right now, but it's his default colors. We have the Baryonyx. The Herrerasaurus, which, it was hard to figure out what colors to make these guys. Oh, that's loud. We'll just go with this guy. It was hard to figure out what color to get these guys, but... I seen some fan art of them in black and white. And uh, that's what I got these guys as. And the Proceratosaurus. A beautiful green and orange. Now these guys are my favorite when it comes to Jurassic dinosaurs because them being the very first one of the very first Tyrannosaurs. And uh, here we have the Velociraptors. Oh, and, um, this wasn't in the movie, but I kind of made this just so I can get five stars. But this is a custom, uh, guest area, which might as well do this. Here we have some fountains, some Jurassic Park, uh, flags. Here we have a diner, some hotels. An outdoor diner. Another Jurassic Park sign. A uh, beverage building. Some signs, restrooms, gift shop, shelter. 
And back here, we have some restrooms. There's a little campground I came up with. And then finally, we have this area, the hatchery where I create the dinosaurs, and also the East Dock. Which this I had a long progress of making, or this took longer to make, and you all can see why. But I am very happy of how it uh, came out, or how it turned out. But yeah, this was my showcase of my custom Jurassic Park on Jurassic Park Evo or Jurassic World Evolution 2. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and if you did and want to see more Jurassic Park and Jurassic World videos, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know. And as always, this is Evolve Godzilla, and I am I'm out and peace.